What's up YouTube, LND here. Uh, this is a ranting video, I'm ranting videos that talk about whatever I want to, whenever I want to. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, uploading situation again for the 5,000th time, and I'm actually going to tell a story. So this will be the first uh, short story thing from when I said I was going to do that. Um, uploading, I recently have not been like recording or playing games on the PC or really playing games all that much in general. Not exactly in the front lines of shit I want to do right now. Um, so that just has been put off. At some point I will start recording again. At least gameplay stuff since I will probably be doing um, uh, the L&D rant stuff for quite a while. Well not quite a while, I don't know. It'll be what I do to upload for a while until I finally can get back into the groove of wanting to play games. Um, so, yeah, that's the situation with that. <clears throat> Probably won't be daily uploads anymore. I'll have to figure out something else. Um, okay, so on to the, the short story. So, recently, I had bought a PlayStation 1 from a store and I ended up getting crash warped with it. I got it home, played it a few times, uh, and then honestly didn't exactly use it very often. And I started to have regrets of ever getting it. I would not have bought the PlayStation 1 to begin with if I knew Crash Warped was going to be like a blank game. With, you know, like when you just get the discs. So I took that back, got store credit for it because every fucking store only does store credit, never cash. No matter... How big of a purchase they will only ever do store credit and it's just a way for the stores to be greedy and keep all their money and they don't lose anything from it. Okay, so I, I returned that, got some other games. Uh, sometime after that happened, uh, me and Advanced Darkness decided that we wanted to go look at a couple thrift store-like places. Um, and when we went to... Uh, we're looking around, we found a couple, uh, like, older games or whatever, Advanced Darkness got, like, I guess you could say a big box PC game, I'm not exactly sure if that's 100% what it was, but I'm going to assume it was of, like, Pinball or something. He also mentioned that Leisure, Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry might be in it, which I wouldn't be surprised, because Pinball is kind of like a casino-like thing, and it looked like a casino pinball game. Um, so he got that. I ended up picking up Miss Pac-Man for the PC. That doesn't work on my desktop. I don't know if it works at all, but wouldn't work on the PC. Um, and then while we were checking out, I looked over to my right and noticed two PlayStations sitting on the counter. Didn't really say anything about it. Didn't I didn't really give it a second thought. Fans Darkness walks over. He's like, "Hey, look at these." I was like, "Oh yeah, I know." Well, it turns out. They were like, just, it's just a console, um, but they were selling them for a dollar, one dollar, two PlayStation 1 consoles that were a dollar. Now they were pretty dirty, nasty, honestly, but like, they didn't take the time to clean them whatsoever. Like we had them clean and looking pristine, new almost, like in a, you know, five, ten minutes at the most. Um, now what was cool about this is one of these models... It, or one of the models of the PlayStation was the original 1000 models. Um, they they did have quite a few problems with them overheating, which I don't exactly understand how that's possible. But um, and other things like I guess Tomb Raider doesn't work very well on the original 1000 models, or like certain FMVs like skip really bad or something like that. It didn't exactly work well. But it worked, which is nice. But more or less, it's just like kind of a cool thing to have. Um, so Advanced Darkness took that one. Um, the other one was like a 7,000 model. I actually have it right here. I, I, I would check, but I re realized I pushed, put poster putty on the, the thing so it wouldn't slide around on top of my PS2. Um, 7,500 or something like that is the model. Um, that one seems to work for the most part, like... Probably 70 to 90 percent reliable, honestly. Um, one thing, and I'll look for a picture, um, if I can find one, 
if I can't, then I'm I'm sorry, I guess. But there was a strange screen that popped up the first time I tried to run my Crash Bash game in it, and it was like uh, software s- closed. Uh, system might have been modded or tampered with, tampered with, shut down system or something like that. And like honestly, it was a pretty like creepy screen to see on a PlayStation. Like it's one of those things where like. I've never seen that pop up on a PlayStation ever in my entire life. And like I've had a I've had a PlayStation 1 when I was a young kid for quite a while. And no, I've never seen it, so that's fucking scared the shit on me. It also seemingly would continuously load Twisted Metal 4. Like my discs for my older games are pretty scratched up, like super heavily played but for the most part they still work like i can play crash bash fine on my ps2 uh, i could play it on the P- playstation 1 that i had haven't exactly played it on the other one since it didn't have a power cord or anything luckily i have a bunch of splitters laying around my house and i just so happen to have one with a playstation thing on it i think the other one i have actually has one on it too so um and uh yeah just like would loop Twisted Metal Force loading screen or something like that. It was really fucking weird. So, uh, I, that's about it. Went to a, a thrift store like place and ended up being able to pick up. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't say this. They were having a sale on the PlayStation ones or like a half off sale on everything. So we actually got the PlayStation ones for 50 cents each. So in total for two, just the consoles of the PlayStations, two one dollar for both of them and they did have cords there that would have worked for them and i had a couple chance to pick them up but i i didn't i recently went out just yesterday was going to grab them but wanted to save my money in case we went to a different thrift store that was better and had something we wanted not where i live we don't the thrift store suck bitch here so didn't end up getting anything kind of regret not getting it um I would have also bought another spare cord just in case it didn't work because the place, uh, oh, we can't test our cords here, which is fucking stupid, but, so yeah, two, two PlayStations, one OG 1000 models, the other one a 7500 for a total of $1. It's pretty fucking sweet in my opinion. I hope you think the same. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for listening, and, uh. Yeah, see ya.